special episode. My name is Landry Onibinde Bay. Welcome to 27 Letters Podcast. And um, this introduction is going to take a minute. Because right now, I feel like this is going to be one of my favorite interviews. Just based on the history this man has. His resume is on par with whoever is in the industry when you talk about urban wear. You know what I mean? Um, 25 plus years strong, he's been doing this, you know. Um, he had the likes of Biggie Smalls, Tupac, Old Dirty Bastard, Fife Dog, All Rest in Peace, also Fuji's Lauren Hill, uh, Grand Pooba, Das Effect. The list goes on of who repped this man's brand. Right now, I just want to introduce you guys who might not know, but most of you probably know. The brand, maybe not the face, but you know the brand. Okay? Because recently, Drake was wearing it at the Raptors player when he was paying homage to Tupac, who actually wore something like this, but the hoodie on the movie Above the Rim when he played Birdie. I'm pretty sure you guys know about Above the Rim, and you know who Tupac is. So, right now, I want to introduce you guys to Gary, 100 Miles, the brand, Thank the you. creator, the founder. <laughs> Peace. It's great meeting you, brother. Uh, much love, my brother. Much oh, love, my baby. God. Much I, can't, love. I, I, I don't know where to start. I was telling my homie Dayton behind the camera, I'm like, no. Oh, I was supposed to meet, you know, you know the story. I was supposed to meet a couple of my friends who like to go for walks, a couple of females that I grew up with. So I'm like, hey, you guys, when you guys go for a walk, let me know. So they're like, yeah, we're going down to the beach and we we'll go for a walk. So, I, you know, I was a little ahead of schedule. <laughs> and I'm traveling on the Queen Street East, and lo and behold, I look to my right, 100 miles. I seen the sign. I'm like, what? <laughs> found the next parking spot I could find came out spoke, met the man he was right here I'm like bro <laughs> what great location by the way thank you great thank location you. I know you went through your journey from uh, Queen Street to um, other parts of the city you know what I mean just around the dirt downtown area and now you're in at the beaches so this, this this is dope and from that day we cont- uh, we stay connected and I said we got to sit down cuz his his story is iconic you know like I just told you about the names I mentioned he did this before social media so this means what he really was meeting these people it wasn't like third party pay this person now everybody just <laughs> yeah. y'all pay this guy to wear my stuff oh Ray Tay Tay yeah. you know no this is straight and I always tell my tell my homies the truest currency in the world is relationships. Mm. Yeah, That's yeah. the realest currency in the world, relationships. And through the one relationship, which we're going to get into, of seeing kid and play, it took off from there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, glad you're here, my brother. How's your day? Oh, hectic. <laughs> yeah. I see you got the, 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 cause the when, we, when I first came here, you were switching over from the winter yeah. stuff to uh, spring, some, summer. Yeah, spring, summer. Yeah. So now you got the, you got the uh, summer stuff up. You guys got to stop by. You guys got to stop by. 2359 Queen Street East. You heard. 2359. Pull up. You heard. You know? Beach. <laughs> the beaches. Beautiful area, by the way. The beach is right there. You know what I mean? Definitely. Whenever definitely. you get bored, you're like, you know yeah. what? Let me just close <laughs> up for an hour and go for a walk true, down by true, the beach. True. But anyways, let's get into it. Um, the way we start our, our our line of questioning is basically starts with where everybody starts. Well, unless you're a tested baby. <laughs> it is 2023. The crazy yeah, things yeah, are going yeah, on around this, you know what I mean? Talk. Like, like talk. It is 2023. But anyways... Um, we all start from my mother. So who's your mother? My mom is Audrey Adamson, an amazing, strong woman uh, from Kingston, Jamaica. 
Um, actually, Trenchtown. Uh, she's very, yeah, very, very, Trenchtown very, rock. Very, yeah, very, very. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, represents where she's from. She's very proud. Straight. Oh yeah, very proud, proud Jamaican. And um, met my uh, late father. Um, they gave birth to me uh, in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. From Jamaica too. <laughs> yes, of okay. course. Yeah. So they both met down there. Yeah, they both met. Um, they were school schoolmates, and oh, that's yeah, a beautiful story. All the way from school, they're like first uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, and you know, as a fairy tale yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, and four kids later. <laughs> wow. So when did yeah. they migrate over here? Uh, they came uh, when I was a baby. So, so you were born there? Yeah, I was born there. Okay. Yeah, I was born in Jamaica. Uh, my brother and I were bo- both born there. I I came when I was two. Okay. Yeah, I arrived over on the... So I, you I, were pretty much born, even yeah. though technically, but like, yeah. oh, this is all you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is all I know. This yeah. is all I know. I know Toronto. I'm pretty sure you've been back, oh, but yeah. just for the oh, fact yeah. that like, this is where you grew up. Yeah, this is where I've grown up. Mm. This is the city. You know, the six is, is, is home. You know, See that? So, you know what I'm saying? So I rep Toronto all day, every day, but... Big up yard, you know, because that's that's the roots, you know. What for I mean? sure, for sure, for sure. You touch you touch on your dad. Um, most of the times when we, when I sit down with people, just in general, even when I was incarcerated, a lot of men didn't have their dad around, including myself. So you know, it has an effect on a young man when you don't have your dad around. Even children in general, you know, when you don't have of both course, parents naturally. around. Naturally, you know, in particular for a young men trying to learn how to be a man you true, know what I mean true. so it's really refreshing to know that your dad was there oh, so tell definitely. me about your dad and the relationship you guys have uh, my dad Winston Adams an amazing man uh, my inspiration um, pretty much all the entrepreneurial that you see in me now is just a reflection of him right and you know being you know coming from Jamaica it, it was a struggle for them to you know adapt into this you know North American culture and especially the cold yeah, yeah and, <laughs> and the lifestyle and you know his passion for music um, led him into becoming a, a DJ okay and you know me being his son I had to Carry you know, two crates? Yeah, I had to carry the crates and the speaker boxes. and, and, and So you were getting these lessons on how to handle your business yes, early on. Yes, and, you know, he, he'd he have, you know, different events. And, you know, I, I, a lot of the times I was handling uh, his money. Mm, you know, yeah, wow. I was handling the money at, like, a very young age, like, so around... 10, 11, you know, he's, he, he, he was putting us to work, <laughs> me and my brother, at a very young age, and... You know, we, as we, he should. You know, as he, he should. He he paid us well, but it also was hard work. Like you know, it wasn't easy because if you know about like you know sound systems back in the day, it was like like you said crates and yeah, it wasn't you know, all technical. Like, uh, yeah. it's easier now. Now, but now you have a laptop. It in one hand. <laughs> yeah, you know back I mean? then we were carrying the whole system, and you know a lot of. Uh, you know, uh, strength was required for the for the tasks, and so, you know, he just he just built up my character. You know what I'm saying in terms of just you know, learning entrepreneurial how to you know take risks and and try to succeed on risks. You know what I mean in 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 life, and you know, watching him through having a heart condition, you know, and never really complaining about it at all, just living. So his you life. was born with it? No, he. I, I guess. Through his ha- habits, you know, and you know, stress, you know, you know, he had a heart condition, okay. and um, uh, unfortunately, he passed at at fifty four years of age from it, and you know, God rest his soul. But you know, it, it's it's something where as as black men, we gotta you know really take care of our health or as men in general you know we have to watch our health as we age and the things that we do right so it's it, important yeah. what, are, what was I telling you just just now when we were forwarding up there D getting back to working out yeah exactly two a day I did two a day today I yeah. stretched in the morning I did arms and I did a little cardio sure you know what I mean yeah of course man so naturally, it's like, like there's no I have two boys I got two daughters like I gotta make sure <laughs> oh yeah you got you need the strength you feel what I'm saying I need to be there for them yes, and true. before um, fortunately before your dad passed he, he left you with some lessons and he was pretty much your biggest fan when it came to your brand oh yeah oh yeah, you know, yeah. You talked to, you, I, I heard you talking about how 
he yeah. would be the first one yeah. you show yeah. your designs to because oh, yeah. he was really the one that was always giving you the push. Yes. I like yes. your mom who was like, go to school. <laughs> yeah, she was a, she now, you know Obviously mom, now. Yeah, now, now <laughs> Hindsight twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty you know, twenty twenty and on, my mom has been my biggest fan now. You know, uh as I started she didn't really understand the the whole Hip hop culture and 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 because she's thinking dollars. Yeah, so is, yeah. Are you gonna pay the bills? For yeah, this? and you know, I I I I saw a bigger vision, and my dad was you know let him do what he's doing, and because he's more creative yeah, on the creative side, right? And yeah. you know, and, and let him you know make his mistakes, and and he was always there for me, being you know supportive, being the first one I'd show my designs to, and you know, making me feel inspired, you know, to, to continue to do what I, I, I've, I've done now for 31 years. <laughs> oh, what was the sound that he had? Soulville. Soulville, Soulville. International. Yeah. Okay. So it's, so he's known in the Jamaican community quite well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. R.I.P. To, to, to Pops. You know? Yes. Um, job well done. You know what I mean? Wish you could still be here, but job well done. Thank you. You know you. what I mean? Because... If it wasn't for those lessons that he showed you early on, true, and the, that board of confidence, true. which is pivotal, Most you know what definite. I mean? Like it's pivotal for a young man to have that board of conf confidence of with their father. Of course, you know I mean? of course. Um, 